Right, morning, Steve. Good to see you. Morning. So you've had a bit of time to reflect on a big, big win on Saturday. It was, it was quite a dominant display and, and obviously a, a much needed three points. Um, how, how's, how's the move been in the camp and how, how much confidence does it give you as manager to be able to see that when the chips are down, the pressure's on, that this group's really got the sort of minerals for the fight? Yeah, no, no, it was a great win. Um, it was uh, a good performance, dominant performance without the scoreline reflecting that. But um, no, just really pleased for the for the players and everyone involved because um, obviously, and we talked about last week about having hope and and uh, keeping the belief and obviously wins help with that. Um, and yeah, no, the lads have the lads have had a good week's training as you can imagine off the back of a win. Everything's always a little bit brighter and a little bit better. Um, but yeah, look, I think I've said it before. I think if you if you came and spent time at the training ground, you come and spend time amongst the players, you wouldn't know um, uh, from their attitude or demeanour what we was in the position we are. So that's a really uh, positive, and that's a testament to to the staff and, and everyone's keeping the morale up um, and themselves, obviously. And yeah, look, it's been a it's been a it's it's, it's been a good week, and now we've got another tough test, and and uh, it's our next cup final. So uh, yeah, we're trying to tick them off and. Um, obviously, we've only done one, uh, but we've got to try and make it two now. Nice. So it's also been EFL Youth Development Week. Uh, a little bit of a focus on, on sort of younger younger players at the club. We've had five academy boys who, who trained with the first team, or by all accounts, have held their own there. Mm. Uh, we've also got um, a, a new batch of young guys coming in the under sixteen group that I've heard from Jimmy Dat that are quite promising young talents. Just how, especially as a manager who's kind of looked to actively bring the active age of the squad down. Um, just how encouraging is it for you to, to see that sort of young talent coming through? The club? Yeah, look, hundred percent. Look, for me, it's um, uh, a sort of cliche. If they're good enough, they're old enough, so uh, that kind of stuff's relevant. Um, I, I, personally, I'm brave enough to, to to use younger players if if they're good enough and give them their chance, um, like we did again, like we did with Jack Taylor, um, and we've had Sam involved with the squad, and I said we've had. Um, it's really good for at least once a week that the best academy players come up here and train. Um, so we've had four, five, six over the, over the coming weeks. Um, Vinny stayed with us. Vinny took him stayed with us this week. He's been training all week. Um, uh, and uh, it's a testament to how well he's been doing. Um, but no, look, some really good lads. Uh, Jordan, uh, Ryan, um, George, Liam have all been up here and, and Vinny and there's another couple as well that we haven't seen yet. They've had knocks and obviously Sam, uh, the goalie, does excellent and Jack himself. Um, and we have Ollie with us who's out on loan uh, all the time anyway. So look, there's a good there's a good batch and um, from what I'm told, there's another batch underneath that we haven't seen as much personally um, that are going to leave the uh, leave the club in good hands over the next couple of years. So um, uh, we hope that Obviously, to be sustainable and to be uh, a club in the community, and having a, a core group of younger players within that, within the team, let alone the squad. But at first, first and foremost, it's getting in the squad first. Um, yeah, it's really good and it's, it's really bright and it's really exciting for the football club. Fantastic! And keeping on that community theme, we've also got a nice day tomorrow. It's extra special because we're doing the Royal Aubergine shirt launch in, in, <laughs> in, in partnership with the Royal Marlston Cancer Charity. How nice is it for players to just be able to, well, you've seen the kit on a few of the guys now, looking pretty sharp in it. Um, how is it. How nice is it to just be able to give back a little bit to the community for, for footballers to be able to do that? And oh, look, it's all about that people forget that, obviously, footballers are human beings as well, and lots of uh, lots of the players have a lot of stuff going on in their personal lives and things that people don't know about. Um, so, yeah, look, to give back and, and to, to have people appreciate uh, them and for them to show that they appreciate other people as well and obviously it's a great charity and it's a great cause um yeah it'll be a new a new uh uh imagery for the game it'll look different because we won't be at home in the in the uh, advocate we'll be in the uh the royal aubergine as it's been as it as it is so uh yeah look it'll be it'll be a good day um but we all know that so we'll make it even better day by getting three points so um yeah look, it'll be a great day and hopefully we can make it a great day all around so I certainly hope so. So looking ahead to tomorrow, squad fitness wise, how are we doing? Obviously, we've got the guys who are away on international. How's everyone else holding up? After yeah, no, everyone else is good. Everyone else is good. Obviously, we've got um, a few lads away, which obviously is frustrating. Um, but um, that's why you've got a squad. And uh, yeah, no, the lads are all right. We haven't lost anyone from the weekend. And uh, um, yeah, we're in a positive place.
Fantastic. And uh, looking at looking at Accrington Stanley and what kind of threat they pose, how, how do you think they compare to some of the other opponents that you face in the league? And what do you guys need to be ready for on Saturday? Well, look, they 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 want a poor run. Um, and then the manager made uh, the owner made a decision and got rid of uh, the manager who's been there a hell of a long time. He's been a great servant for the football club. Him and his assistant. Um, and yeah, I got a bit of a new manager bounce. So they've, they've, they've got a couple of positive results. Um, quite a dominant performance against Notts County at the weekend. Um, only coming away with a draw, which I'd be disappointed with. But um, yeah, look, it's uh, it's the next test for us. Uh, they've got their threats. Uh, we know what their threats are. Uh, we'll try and nullify them as much as we can. Uh, but ultimately try and impose ourselves on the game because uh, we're, the, we're the ones who need to come win it. Indeed, well, fantastic. Best of luck and uh, yes, bring home the three points. Thank you very much.